want to put together a short presentation about squamous cell carcinomas in horses because um, they are common in horses who have bald faces um, or white areas that are lacking in pigmentation and um, just wanted to give some people some tips on what to look for so you know if your horse is developing one and also some tips on how to try to prevent them. First I want to explain what a squamous cell carcinoma is. It's a form of skin cancer that develops on areas of the body that are frequently exposed to sun and this is more common in horses that are lacking in pigmentation. These white areas have lower levels of melanin which is a pigment that causes the skin or the hair to be darker. This is what helps protect it from UV rays. In horses with white skin, with, with your paint horses, your Averos or Cremellos, Perlinos, horses of that nature, they're lacking in melanin, which gives them a greater chance of developing skin cancers with squamous cell carcinomas being one of the more common ones. So the horse in these pictures is my sister's horse, Bojangles. Um, I actually found him for her when I was living out in Arizona. We purchased him as a two-year-old and I believe he's 18 now. Um, unfortunately for him, being a blue-eyed Overo horse who lived in Arizona and Florida for most of his life, he has developed um, squamous cell carcinomas throughout the years. Uh, this is what his last one looked like and this one um, had been growing for for a little while, they'll start off just looking like a small red sore or a raised bump that will not heal. Um, unlike a normal sore, which will ha which will heal, this will not heal, and it will grow over time. These cancers will spread to the surrounding tissues if they're left long enough. Um, unfortunately for Bo, this is I think his eighth one that he's had removed, and it has unfortunately spread to that eye, um, which he will have to have removed eventually. So once you determine that a squamous cell carcinoma is present, it will need to be removed surgically. It's the best way to get rid of it. These growths, like I mentioned, do have a tendency to be reoccurring, so you just need to be on the lookout for them so that you can catch them if you notice more, um, more of them developing. Here is Bojangles before and after picture. Um, you can see that the tumor is gone in the lower picture, um, and he has actually better vision now with that being gone. Uh, it looks really good. My sister is the veterinarian that did the surgery and she does a great job. Um, so that's bows before and after. So now let's talk about prevention because this is one of the most important things that we can do to try to help our horses um, not have to deal with this. And the biggest thing is going to just be to decrease UV light exposure. Um, you can do this by only turning the horse out at night. I'm not a big fan of that because I like horses to have as much turnout as possible. Um, so there are some other options. You can use a fly mask or a medical mask. Um, you want to make sure when using a fly mask that there is UV protection because not all fly masks will offer UV protection. So make sure you're purchasing one that has sufficient UV protection. Um, the mask that Bo's wearing in this picture is a medical mask that has 92% UV protection. And it also has a fly mask that can go over it, which will um, add to the UV protection as well. Um, so that, in this mask, I actually really like, because um, it's just been something that has been easy for him to wear and it's comfortable and he can see through it, which is really great. You also want to think about protection while riding, because um, these horses that are prone to developing these issues if you're out riding a lot and you don't have any kind of UV protection on their eyes um, that's going to be just more exposure so protective um, pet solutions is the company that makes the mask that Bojangles had on in the previous slide they also make these goggles which are really cool um, to protect the eye and also to decrease the UV light it's 100% UV tint so that's a really great option too um, for when you're out riding these horses. And with Bojangles, I think the biggest reason that he's developed these over the years is just because he's been in different boarding situations where people um, were not always putting his, his fly mask on um, or he might lose it out there if he's playing with another horse. So just make sure you get a fly mask that's going to stay on. Make sure if you're in a boarding situation you have somebody else caring for your horse that they are going to put that mask on whenever the horse is outside and also um, try to incorporate some protection during riding. So that's my little presentation on squamous cell carcinomas. Uh, I hope it was helpful and I hope everybody has a great day.